California Attorney General Xavier Becerra along with San Francisco City Attorney Dennis Herrera announcing new lawsuits against the Trump administration. S. Sanctuary Jurisdiction Policies at SF City Hall on Monday, August 14, 2017 in San Francisco, CA. By requiring San Francisco and other California communities to allow federal immigration agents into their jails and give them 48 hours notice of certain immigrants' release from custody. Attorney General Jeff Sessions is defying Congress, the Constitution and the standards of good law enforcement. California's top attorney says, a lawsuit by California Attorney General Xavier Becerra, filed in federal court late Monday, contains some of the same legal arguments that San Francisco City Attorney Dennis Herrera presented in a suit against Sessions on Friday, that the Trump administration is illegally restricting Justice Department financial grants by attaching immigration conditions that Congress never authorized and that are unrelated to the purpose of the grants. The state's suit, with $28, 3 million at stake in federal grants to local governments and bet share as office for the next fiscal year argues further that California is constitutionally entitled to decide how to keep its communities safe by setting its own rules for contacts between law enforcement authorities and local residents. Regardless of their immigration status, the Trump administration is trying to usurp the state and its local government's discretion to determine how best to protect public safety, Betcher's lawyer said, specifically. They said, the new federal rules will interfere with state laws that strengthen community policing efforts by encouraging undocumented victims to report crimes to local law enforcement. They cited two state laws, a 2014 statute that allows local governments to comply with federal detainer requests to hold an immigrant in custody for up to 48 hours only if the immigrant has a serious criminal record or is being held for a violent crime, and a law effective this year that requires jailers to tell immigrants that if federal agents are coming to question them, they can refuse to speak to the agents or insist on having a lawyer present. Neither of those laws directly conflicts with the condition Sessions has imposed on the federal grants, but a bill advancing in the legislature. SB 54 by Senate President Pro Tem Kevin DeLen de Los Angeles would, with some narrow exceptions, prohibit state and local governments from using their funds to aid in immigration enforcement and would deny federal agents access to local jails. Here is a closer look at the legal arguments. To remain eligible for the federal Edward Byrne grants, which fund programs for crime prevention and alternatives to jail for youthful offenders in 32 California communities. Sessions has added two conditions, jailhouse access for immigration officers, and 48 hours notice before release of an immigrant sought by federal agents. Congress has required local governments receiving burn grants only to allow their police to disclose a detainee's immigration status to federal agents, but has not required jailhouse access or 48 hours notice. Therefore, Betcher's lawsuit argues, Sessions is intruding on Congress authority to make new laws and is violating the constitutional separation of powers. In April, U.S. District Judge William Oreck III of San Francisco used similar reasoning in a nationwide Injunction blocking enforcement of President Trump's order to withhold federal funding from state and local governments that failed to cooperate with immigration officers. The injunction applied only to Trump's Jan. 27 order and not to the condition sessions announced last month for federal grants in the next fiscal year, which starts October 1. Justice Department lawyers have argued that Sessions has authority to impose what the law defines as special conditions on the burn grants. Betcher as lawyers dispute that, but argue that in any event, 
the immigration requirements are unrelated to the law enforcement purpose of the grants and also violate constitutional limits on Congress' power to spend federal funds. Additionally, the suit contends, requiring 48 hours notice before release could require a local agency, in some cases, to prolong an immigrant's confinement without a warrant, violating constitutional restrictions on detention. Asked for comment Tuesday, the Justice Department said that while 48 hours notice is ideal, the department recognizes there are circumstances where detention facilities cannot meet this requirement. In those situations, the information should be shared with enough notice possible, the department said, declining further comment. Bob Agalco is a San Francisco Chronicle staff writer. Email Bagalco at sfchronicle.com Twitter at Agalco.